this Divi quick tip, I'm going to show you two different methods for manually editing the footer section of Divi so that you can display your own custom footer credits. The first method I'm going to show you takes advantage of a new tool created by the team over at Gritty Social. That's gritty-social.com, called, aptly enough, the Divi Child Theme Builder. They've taken all the guesswork out of editing the footer credits of a Divi Child Theme by simply making it a part of the Child Theme creation process. Here's how it works. First, head over to divi.space slash Divi Child Theme Builder. You can get there by clicking on the link I provide in the video description or in the blog post if that's where you're viewing this video. Once you're there, you'll notice that all of the required information is in the form of empty text boxes for you to fill in with your specific details. Just fill in your child theme name, version, author name, author URL, and updated footer credits. You can also upload a custom image to appear as the installed theme thumbnail in your WordPress installed theme section as well as any custom CSS you might want to migrate from your Divi parent theme to your Divi child theme. When all of your information is entered, simply click the Create Child Theme button to download the zipped file. You can now upload it to your WordPress website just like any other theme, only now you'll have new footer credits and a future-proof website. Okay, so that is method number one. For our second method, I'm going to show you how to edit your footer credits the 100% manual way. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure why someone wouldn't want to use the new Divi Child Theme Builder, but if that's you, we've still got you covered. Here's what you do. First, you need to create a child theme. There are a number of ways that you can do this. You can manually create a child theme by following Nick's blog post tutorial, or you can use any one of a number of plugins and tools designed for creating child themes quickly and easily, some with just a single click. For your convenience, I've linked Nick's tutorial and a few recommended plugins and tools in the video description. When creating your child theme, you will want to make sure that you have copied the footer.php file from your Divi themes file into your child theme files. Now, when you upload your new child theme to WordPress and activate it, you can navigate to Appearance, Editor, Footer.php, and make your desired edits. All you have to do is find the text from the current footer credits and swap out your preferred text. When you're finished, click the Update File button and you're done. Now you will have custom footer credits even after you've updated the Divi parent theme in the future. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I'm Nathan B. Weller, and this has been an Elegant Themes Divi Quick Tip. Don't forget, if you're watching this video on YouTube or Facebook, take a moment to subscribe, follow, like, and or share. It really helps. Thanks.